Are you gonna be here while I do the video? Today I'm going to discuss five tips to help you achieve your fitness goals and stay on track. I know sometimes we fall off the wagon, we get back on the wagon, we fall off, we get on, we fall off. It's just a vicious circle. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Tip number one, track your progress. You're gonna wanna take before pictures. You may not want to in the beginning, but trust me, you are going to want them a few weeks in. You will see how much progress you've actually made. So take the before pictures, get yourself a journal to write down what you're doing, when you're working out, how you're feeling. All this stuff is going to help you. A few weeks in, a few months in, you'll be able to look back and really see your progress and it makes you feel good. Also, tracking your progress, set some goals for yourself. I remember one of my goals when I first started working out was, I just wanted to be able to lift the bar, like just a 45 pound bar over my head. I couldn't lift it up over my head. I was watching everybody else do it. I'm like, dang, I really want to lift this bar over my head. And I also wanted to get 10 push-ups in, in a row. These goals are very attainable. They're not too far out of reach. I didn't say, I want to squat 500 pounds in a month or lose 100 pounds in a month. These are very attainable goals. Number two, start slow. I've been guilty of this. I'm an ex-collegiate athlete. I hurt my back. I was out for like eight months. I went right back in and I tried to start where I left off. Big mistake. I injured myself again. I fell off the wagon again. I have to start all over again. So please start slow. It takes a long time for bad habits to build up. It takes a long time for you to gain some weight. So you won't be able to lose it the next day or in two days or in a week. You're gonna have, it's gonna take time to get those bad habits off you and to lose the weight and to get new habits. What I did is I started with one thing. I tried to get rid of sweet tea. Y'all, I was addicted to sweet tea. Like jug in my fridge. I grew up with jugs in my fridge of sweet tea. Cleared it within like three days. So one of my goals was don't drink sweet tea anymore. It was hard at first, but I went from three glasses a day to one glass a day, to one glass every two days, to one glass every week. And then I just completely was able to cut it out. And I don't remember the last time I drank sweet tea actually. So start slow start with something like soda or candy something that you can slowly try to give up also starting slow with your workouts if you've never worked out before you don't want to start going seven days a week you're gonna burn out you're gonna get tired you're gonna fall off the wagon so if you've never worked out start with one day of walking walk 15 20 minutes or two days of walking or if you've already been walking throw in one day in the gym kind of a full body workout Start slow because this is a lifestyle. This isn't a get fit quick. That's, <laughs> that doesn't exist. So make sure you start slow so you can maintain it throughout your lifetime. Tip number three, you are unique. Do not compare yourself to other people. Do not compare yourself to other body types. Do not compare yourself to other women or men, especially they're different ages. They have different lifestyles. Your body is uniquely made for you. What you may do in the gym, what somebody else may do in the gym, will affect you differently. I've been guilty of this. I've looked at other women who have a total different body built than me, and I'm like, wow, I want that. So once I stopped comparing myself to other women and actually just did what made me feel good, I started seeing amazing results, and I love how I started looking. I stopped looking at other women like, wow, I want that. First off, that'll cause a whole another set of mental issues. So do not compare yourself. Tip number four, set yourself up for success. It's so easy to say, well, I didn't have time or I left my gym clothes at home or it's, I, when I get off, it's too late. I gotta go get the kids or I gotta run here or run there. I gotta go home and make dinner. You need to set yourself up for success. So if you wanna work out in the morning, I used to lay my clothes out the night before. We used to have practice at 4 a.m. So, I lay my clothes out the night before. Sometimes I slept, I slept in them. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. But if you wanna work out in the morning, 
put your clothes out, workout clothes before, go ahead and pack your gym bag. So when you wake up, it's right there. No excuse, I laid it out, I'm ready. Also what I do is, even if I know I'm headed to the gym and I'm really contemplating turning around, I put on a motivational video, I put on a song that hypes me up, that I know makes me wanna go be better, try that. Try watching a motivational video or listen to the song that makes you feel good. Tip number five. If you guys made it this far in the video, <laughs> thanks for sticking with me. I'm really trying to um, get better at getting my thoughts into here. All right, tip number five is patience. Like I said before, it wasn't overnight that you gained all the weight. It really takes time. This is a marathon. This isn't a sprint. Don't set yourself up for fail failure. Don't disappoint yourself that if you think, yeah, in two weeks, I'll lose 50 pounds or completely be turned around, go to the gym seven days a week. Don't do that because then when you don't achieve that, if you don't go to the gym seven days a week, if you haven't lost the weight you think you should lose, it's gonna disappoint you and you're gonna fall off again because you're gonna think, what's the point? Please have patience. Set up attainable goals, hit those goals, stay on track and be patient with yourself. Know it's coming, have faith, be consistent and please don't run yourself into the ground. Fitness is not, I have to go lift seven days a week. I have to eat clean 24 seven, that's not it. You could go to the gym one day, two days. You could go walk the other days. You could play with your family, run with your dog, ride a bike, go swimming. These are all fitness and you don't have to eat healthy 24 seven. That can be a different video. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is my first sit down video in like a long time. I'm like sweating. Yeah, I'm definitely sweating. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I wrote my notes and I had to keep looking at them because I get nervous. Stick with me, I'm just gonna keep pumping out content no matter how nervous I am. I wanna share this stuff with you guys. I'm very passionate about it. So here I am doing it. I read something this morning that said, do something every day that scares you. Here I am. <laughs> oh, this camera, okay. <sighs> I still don't know how to sign out. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe, like, tell me some videos you wanna see. I already have a whole list of videos that I wanna to talk to you guys about. Food, fitness, wellness, it's coming. But I'd love to hear you guys' suggestions. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, I think I already said that. I'll see you next time.